Windows machines are often compared with Chromebooks due to the huge difference in operating systems. I have two devices here that are available for the same price of £300 and we can compare what you get from each device for the same price to help you decide which one is more worth the money. Here we have the HP 250 G4 and the HP Chromebook 14 G4. We choose to compare these two as they're similar in spec, as the 250 is running an Intel Core i3 processor and the Chromebook is running an Intel Celeron processor. So both are basic home user devices that wouldn't be great for running intense programs and software, but perfect for general use such as browsing the internet and using Office 365 for Word documents and Excel. This Chromebook has 4GB of RAM and a 32GB eMMC, whereas the 250 has 4GB of RAM with a 500GB SATA. In terms of design, they're both very similar, besides the size and weight. The Chromebook weighs just 1.71kg with a 14-inch 1080p display. It has a professional modern-looking matte black finish and the Chrome logo in the corner looks simple yet effective. On the bottom, there's two DTS speakers and some rubber feet for grip. Opening it up, the keyboard is keeping things very simple. They've tidied things up by placing the power button within the keyboard itself, which certainly looks nice, but I'd personally find it an inconvenience as it's too easy to click whilst typing. The keyboard reminds me a bit of a MacBook keyboard with the style and short key travel. There's a little bit of flex in the keyboard, but that's the compromise for such a slim and sleek laptop. The keyboard is designed well to fit the Chrome operating system, with shortcut keys that give the best use out of the system as possible. The 250 starts at 2.1 kilograms and is a lot thicker than the Chromebook, fitting in ventilation and a disk drive. Although I'm not a fan of the design with the cheaper feeling plastic, I absolutely love the fact that there's latches to remove the battery. Opening it up, there's a full-size keyboard that's so definitely one of the best things about this device. However, the one thing I'm not a fan of is the trackpad and how it feels to use due to the rough material of the base. However, the main difference is definitely the operating systems. Chromebooks are usually thought of as restrictive and simple, but for comparing these two devices that would only be used for basic tasks, the Chromebook actually turned out to be my favourite out of the two. The Chrome OS looks modern and simplistic, with the ability to use different themes and download web-based apps within a few seconds. Which brings me to my next point. This thing is extremely fast, matching some devices that I've tested with the highest processors, so I was definitely surprised and impressed. This is due to how little there is within the Chromebook and the lightweight slim design. It works super fast when multitasking and downloading multiple apps. Whereas the 250 surprised me in the opposite way, as it didn't perform as well as I was expecting. Opening up the browser, everything worked fine to begin with, but as soon as I started to open up other applications and multitask, it slowed down by a lot. Not only this, but during the installation of Office 365, it got quite hot near the ventilation. However, the one massive difference between the operating systems is the web-based applications as opposed to the actual applications, such as Office 365. This is where the Chromebook fails, as you need an internet connection in order to use all the apps, including pre-installed apps such as Gmail. This could have been resolved if they included a SIM card tray for 4G capabilities, but unfortunately that isn't the case and hopefully this is something that HP will pick up on. This is a massive plus for the 250 running Windows 7, as you're still able to get on with writing Word documents when on the go, as it isn't using the internet to access the application. In terms of ports, the 250 has a lock slot, disk drive, USB, SD card slot, power connector, ventilation, VGA port, Ethernet, full-size HDMI, two more USB ports and a headphone jack. Similarly, the Chromebook has the power connector, two USB ports, a lock slot, full-size HDMI, another USB port, a headphone jack and a micro SD card slot. So they're both pretty good for ports and accessibility, which you would expect for similar price points. So all in all, the Chrome OS isn't always basic and sometimes simplicity is better. However, it's all down to personal preference 
Yes, the Chromebook is in some ways more like a tablet in terms of simplicity, but comparing it to a Windows device of the same price point that is a bit of a letdown, the Chromebook is certainly in my opinion the best option for value for money. Let me know what you prefer in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoy and check out our previous videos. Thank you!